Welcome everyone. Today we want to have a look at Cycos new forms module, which is called Web Forms for Marketers. We're here in the MyCam demo site and we'll move to the form section that I've created. I've also created a subsection called um, Feedback Form Test. If we want to insert a form in here, all we're going to do is press the Insert Form button up here on the in upper left. This only shows up if you have the Web Forms module installed, of course. So we press Insert Form, we give it a name, we just call it Test Form Page, for example. We press Next, we choose the placeholder we want to insert the form. In this case, we select PH Center and then we press Create. Sidecore will then create the form and open the Forms Designer. And we can start adding our form fields. So we start by adding a first field, which could be, for example, Name, and it's a single line text field and it's required. We can add a second field, for example, Comment which is a multi-line text field, and we add a third field, which could be email. Email, of course, is not a single line text field, but an email field, and it's required as well. By setting the field type, we set the type of validation for the field. So in an email field, we'll only allow email addresses and so on. We can sort the fields by just dragging and dropping them wherever we want them on the form. So for example, here we want email to be just an above comment. For every field on the left side here, we have some properties, for example, appearance properties and so on. We can set a default value, we can set some help text. So here we can put some help text in, I don't know, insert your email address. Then further down, we have a submit button. We can rename that button. So we can say, I don't know, submit feedback, for example, and then the button caption will be submit feedback. We can also set the action, so what will happen when the form is actually submitted. The default here is save to database. It will save it to the Sitecore database, but we also have some other predefined actions. Of course, we've got to save first before we do that. So we save the form, and then we can edit those actions. The actions we have predefined in Web Forms for Marketers are create item, save to database, send mail, compare password confirmation, and tell a friend. The interesting ones here, I think, are create item, save to database, and send mail. Send mail would send out an email, save to database, just saves it to the Sitecore database, and create item will create an item for each um, entry in the form. So now we're finished, we press save and close, and down here we have our form. You can see we have the name field and the email field, both are required. We can see an asterisk over here, and of course you can manipulate the CSS if you want. So I put in my name, I put in an email address and I intentionally put in an email address which is not valid, so I just put in ph. And you can see it's instantly validated and it says the value of email field is not a valid email address. So I put in my correct email address and then I put in a comment. Press submit feedback and then I get a feedback message which you can also set when you create the form. In this case, we've said that we want to save the results to the database so we can log into the Sitecore desktop and have a look at the results of the form. So in the All Applications menu, we now have a Web Forms for Marketers submenu and we have a Form Data Viewer. And here we select our form, which was the test form page, and the Form Data Viewer opens. And here we have a list of all the entries that we had in the form. So today, we just had the um, had me filling out the form filled health week with my email address and comment. We can export those to Excel or to XML so we can work with them in, um, in some other applications if we want and we can view some statistics on the form as well. What we can also do, we can open the designer again and manipulate the form fields. One thing I haven't mentioned earlier, what you can also do is you can export your form to ACX and, and then you can uh, manipulate it in Visual Studio if you want. A nice thing here is that we also have multilingual forms, so the form doesn't have to be the same in every language. If you have a website in Danish and English, then you can create two completely different forms for the um, English language audience and the Danish language audience if you want. And you can also specify some intro and some footer text. That's it for today. If you want to know more about the Sitecore um, Web Forms for Marketers module, just install it, you can download it at the um, Sitecore Developer Network. Or if you want a demonstration of the module and some more information, feel free to um, contact our sales teams. Thanks and have a good day.